Hello everybody, it's Miss Madeline here and King Tut, my bird, my cockatoo, and we're going to be reading a story today called What's in Fox's Sack? And it's written and illustrated by Paul Galdoni, but it's actually an old English folk tale which Paul Galdoni rewrote and illustrated for our listening and looking pleasure. And the story is mostly about a fox and a little boy. But in the story, there's the fox is carrying a sack. Can you see him? He's carrying a sack. And this, in case you didn't know, this is a sack. It's a little sack, much smaller than the sack he's carrying. But a sack is a bag which pulls open with strings. And inside, you can put anything you want. I just put a pencil just to show you. What's in Fox's sack? One day, <laughs> sorry, Fox was digging by his tree stump when he found a big, fat bumblebee. So he put it in his sack. And then he walked, and he walked, and he walked, till he came to a house. And in the house, there was a very little woman sweeping the floor. Good morning, said Fox. Good morning, said the very little woman. Can I leave my, may I leave my sack here, asked Fox. I want to go to my friend Squintum's house. Yes, certainly. The very little woman replied. Very well then, said Fox, but mind you, don't look in the sack. Oh, I won't, said the very little woman. So off went Fox, trot, 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 trot means walk, to Squintum's house. And as soon as he was gone, the very little woman did look in the sack. She just peeped in it needs a little look, and out flew the big fat bumblebee. And the very little woman's rooster ran and gobbled him up. Presently, back came Fox. He looked in his sack and he said, where is my big fat bumblebee? And the very little woman said, I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I did look in your sack, and the big fat bumblebee flew out, and my rooster gobbled him up. Oh, really, said Fox. Then I shall take your rooster instead. So he caught the very little woman's rooster and put him in the sack, and then off he went. He walked and he walked and he walked till he came to another house. And in this house, there was a very big woman darning socks. That means she's fixing the hole that was in the sock with her, with her thread and her needle. Good morning, said Fox. Good morning, said the very big woman. May I leave my sack here while I go to my friend Squintum's house? Fox asked. Oh, yes, certainly. The very big woman replied, Very well then, said Fox, but mind you, don't look in the sack. Oh, I won't, said the very big woman. So off went Fox, trot, 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 to Squintum's house. And as soon as he was gone, the very big woman did look in the sack. She just peeped in. Out flew the rooster, and the very big woman's pig chased him down the lane. A lane is a path, sort of like a street. Presently, back came Fox. He looked in his sack and he said, Oh, -ho, where is my rooster? And the very big woman said, I'm very sorry, but I did open your sack and your rooster flew out and my pig chased him down the lane. Very well, said Fox. I shall take your pig instead. So he caught the very big woman's pig and put him in the sack. And then off he went. He walked and he walked and he walked until he came to another house. And in this house, there was a very skinny woman. Skinny means thin. Washing the dishes. Good morning, said Fox. Good morning, said the very skinny woman. May I leave my sack here while I go to my friend Squintum's house? Fox asked. Oh, yes, certainly, the very skinny woman replied. Very well then, said Fox, but mind you, 
don't look in the sack. Oh, I won't, said the very skinny woman. So off went Fox, trot, 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 to Squintum's house. And as soon as he was gone, you know what's gonna happen. The very skinny woman did look in the sack. She just peeped in and out jumped the pig. And the very skinny woman's little boy took a stick and chased the pig out of the house. Presently, back came Fox. He looked in his sack and he said, where is my pig? And the very skinny woman said, I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I did look in your sack and the pig jumped out and my little boy took a stick and chased him out of the house. Oh, my goodness, said the fox. Then I shall have to take your little boy instead. And he took the very skinny woman's little boy and put him in the sack. And then off he went. And he walked and he walked and he walked till he came to another house. And in this house, there was a very fat woman making gingerbread, which is a kind of cake, really good. At one side of her sat three little girls, and on the other side sat a big watchdog. Good morning, said Fox. Good morning, said the very fat woman. May I leave my sack here while I go to my friend Squintum's house? Fox asked. Oh, yes, certainly, the very fat woman replied. Very well then, said Fox, but mind you, don't look in the sack. Oh, I won't, said the very fat woman. And then off went Fox, trot, 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 to Squintum's house. And as soon as he was gone, the lovely smell of the gingerbread cooking, it was baking, came out of the oven. And it smelled so good that the three little girls called out, Oh, mother, mother, mother's mommy, oh, mother, mother, may we have some gingerbread? And the little boy in the sack, can you see him? He's in the sack. The little boy in the sack called out, oh, may I have some gingerbread too? Well, of course, as soon as the very fat woman heard a little boy calling from the sack, she undid the sack at once and out climbed the little boy. And so that Fox would not notice anything, the very fat woman put the big watchdog in the sack instead. And presently, back came Fox. He looked at the sack, and it still looked as full as before. So he picked it up, and off he went. He walked, and he walked, and he walked, till he came to a forest. And then he stopped to rest, and he put down the sack, and he said, It is almost dinner time. And that little boy will make a very good meal for me. And he untied the sack. Out jumped, not the little boy, but the big watchdog. Fox was so frightened he ran away as fast as he could. When the big watchdog got home, the very fat woman was just taking the gingerbread out of the oven, and she gave pieces to the three little girls and the little boy, and she gave an especially big piece to the watchdog. The end. Thank you so much for listening to that story. Look at that. The end of the book. This is the back cover of the book and it has the end of the fox's tail. I never noticed that before. Thank you, Tuddy, for being such a good listener and looker. And thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, Robert, for filming this wonderful folk tale by Paul Galdoni, Retold.